Hey, folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 223, Nasdaq's off 309, S&Ps are off 50, gold contract down $7.50, trading at 1921 an ounce. We have silver down 16 cents, 24 dollars 42 cents an ounce, light sweet crude off a of buck 59. 101.69 notes and bonds. 10 year note down one full point plus four ticks at 120.30. 30 year off two points plus eight at 146.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 492 ticks, trading 99.490. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 123.60. And the British pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So, the SPY out here, folks, bottom line, has already given up everything that came up yesterday. Uh, you can, I, I suspect tomorrow we're going to go after this uh, swing point of 449. Actually, let's go in the futures because this market, I know this market is sold off, no doubt. But it looks to me that this is not over as we come into the close. You, uh... Okay, yes. Okay, so we're down 50 points. I'm going to do this intraday because we just broke a B point of a small ABC down. But I'm being conservative when I'm saying a small one because I'm just taking the last leg. Um, you got monster volume, man. Okay, now let's bring this back. So when you're looking, if you happen to be watching my chart here, right, what you have to do is, you, you bring it back to, I just brought this back to six days, and you can see what happened. We just broke basically a consolidation. You're coming into the close of, the, uh, of Friday. That's where we had a little pop. Now, the top of that close, folks, is 45, 42. Well, guess what? We blew through that like nothing. With volume. So what does that set up? That sets up all the way down the end of this, which is 4508. And right now you're at 4528. And it's not too late to get there. The, you know, the hour just started. That's the, that's the bottom line. We go take a look at the NDX 100. First, we'll take a look at the Qs. You take a look at these Qs out here. You're going to see same type of setup. You got 46 million shares traded. Uh, bottom line, you, you went high yesterday with 45. We're going, to, we're going into this small bar from... Friday uh, with volume, uh, 358 is the number. And I suspect what, you're, what we're probably going to see in the Nasdaq is just going to jump the creek. You know, the Nasdaq uh, had a great run yesterday, a typical bear run going up 1.95%. Uh, and bottom line is that by the time we're done today, we are going to be down over 1.95%. Yeah, we're at, uh, well, there you go. We're at 215 right now on the way down. So. It's going to be a, a wild, well, it is a wild market, but it's going to get a lot more wild than I think most, most folks actually think here. Gold. Gold contract hasn't held price out here. Now, we have 136,000 contracts traded, which is like contract volume. That being said, however, guess what? The, when I say it hasn't held price, 1934 is the number. We're going into... Two separate places where gold has rejected lower price, and you know we'll see whether it's going to reject lower price at the lows. But the way this is trading right now, it's saying that it is going to go to the low that was established last week, which is that 19, no, 1893. That's that's what this is set up because you got into the bar of 1934. It's light volume. You're going into volume of 215,000. But the bottom line, once you get in, into it that far, that's saying, hey, it wants to go into that level. And we'll go to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar because it's all about King Dollar here. And King Dollar is basically either approach. Well, it is approaching its highs. It might have just took it out. It did. 
Okay, so King Dollar, the last the last high up here was 99.418. You're at 99.495. Now this opens up a pretty heavy number inside King Dollar. Um, you know, it really it really opens up that high that was established of uh, 103.80, going all the way back to uh, 2017. Uh, April of 2017. That's how this is kind of set up. We'll see if it gives it up again. Every time it gets up to this level, it seems to give it up and give it up in spades. We go to the 10-year note. Let's take a look at the 10-year note because this baby just keeps going south fast and furious. And what we have with the 10-year note right now, oh, let's see. Is it going to be an ABC down? Whoa, baby, this would be a beauty. It. Okay, so let's see. 1.7 million or 1.5. Well, we'll see whether they can get uh, 200,000 at the close. If you get 200,000 at the close, this is a monster, man. Because the, the A point on this is 129.04. The B is, uh, I'll call it 121. When I say 200, that's eight bucks. That's going to bring you down to uh, 117. And right now you're at. Uh, 12031. So it's, it's certainly a big number. Some of the higher, oh, TWTR. Let's go to Twitter. You got Elon Musk, you know, bottom line yesterday, he turns around and, uh, you know, says it's a passive investment. This, so this is how this shook out, folks. Elon Musk bought 10% of it. He filed a 13F saying that it was a passive investment. And then he actually went on Twitter and basically. I start asking people, should they put an edit button, all that? But it's going to get really intriguing between him and the SEC again, okay? And then all of a sudden today, he's going to be on the board, and tomorrow the CEO is probably going to be gone. <laughs> That's my speculation, not tomorrow, but he's going to be gone. Uh, that being said, uh, bottom line is that let's see what we take, when we take a look at this on a longer basis. So we put this on a monthly that's going to be interesting, man, because this did come back to uh, where it had a lot of support. It took off. It has volume on the takeoff for sure. Yeah, this can get up to like 68 bucks, and right now you're 51. It's Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. I'm in. Mr. Basil Chapman is going to be coming back. We're going to be riding that wave with Basil. Dow Industrials right now down 252. Nasdaq's off 325. S&Ps are off 54. Hold on for the ride, folks, because we're going south.